this Christmas. As a Catholic church in Singapore celebrates 200 years of faith, let us ignite and shine in faith. May we come together as one church to make Jesus a true reason for the season. Catholic 200 SG presents Christmas Ignite 2020. My dear brothers and sisters, this Christmas would be different from the previous Christmases we celebrate. But Christmas will always be meaningful when we allow Christ to be born in our hearts. And so even if we cannot celebrate Christmas in a large scale, we can make Christ still present. And most of all, let us not forget those who are poor, those who are suffering because of this COVID-19 pandemic. This is an occasion also we need to extend our Christmas joy to those who need our help. And so my dear brothers and sisters, I wish all of you a very blessed and holy Christmas and may you have a place for Jesus to be born in your heart. Hey, welcome to Christmas Ignite 2020, a virtual concert. And we're from the Cathedral of the Good Shepherd, and I'm Bernard Lim. And I'm Eunice Olsen. Now, 2021 will see us commemorating 200 years of the Catholic Church here in Singapore. Now, of course, it is our privilege and pleasure to be your host for this evening's program. And this will, of course, lead up to the Holy Christmas Mass. And this year might have been one of the most challenging in a long time. But when it comes to Christmas, we'll always be able to rely on the one comforting truth in John 3.16. Uh, For God so loved the world that He gave us His only Son, and whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Now this is of course, it's a time that we're celebrating with our family, our friends and our loved ones. But let's also not forget there are people around us who are not as fortunate. So let's also use this time to reach out to them. Now we are of course filled with love that our Creator came to us as a very precious child and as we delve into the Christmas carols, let us also unwrap the real gift of this season. I love laughing and spending time with my family. I like to see the Christmas lights. The thing I like most about Christmas is that we have holidays during Christmas season. Receiving presents and the festive decorations. I love the Christmas tree and the Christmas carol being sung. It's a time to spend with my family members. Uh, the conversations over a meal where I'm invited to recognize the movements of Christ in my life throughout the entire year. Most of us uh, living away from our families out here in Singapore. This is the period where I can set aside time to go see my friends, um, spend more time with my parents. To attend the mass so that I can pray for my family. The celebration of hope and joy. People come together and the baby Jesus joins us in the midst of all the joy. And the first song you're going to hear tonight is the O Come O Ye Faithful, one of my favourite Christmas songs. Yes, I love it! Now, did you know also that this song was composed 200 years ago and it was completely in Latin at that time until it was translated into English 100 years later, which wow. means they had to sing this in Latin for like 100 years, but I can't even <laughs> say the name in Latin, okay? Let's, let's don't try to yeah. try it. <laughs> This is about as old as the Catholic Church here in Singapore, which was earliest uh, mentioned around that time, about 200 years ago. Of course, to last for hundreds of years now, that is amazing. It takes so much community for everybody to come together. Now let's lift our praises to Jesus and singing for us, O Come All Ye Faithful, are the Cathedral Children's Choir and the Cathedral Choir of St. Gregory the Great, with Alphonsus Chern on the organ.
beautiful. One of my favorite Christmas songs, by the way. Yeah? Thank you very much, the Cathedral Children's Choir and the Cathedral Choir of St. Gregory the Great. It's so nice to see children kind of carrying the, the lights yes. and children kind of playing handbells. Yeah, it's well. so sweet. Well done, children. Love it, love it, love it. For the 200 years of the Catholic Church in Singapore, our Archbishop has chosen the theme Ignite and Shine. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, we've got so many people who have come before us, right? All the sacrifices that we made for the church. Now, this is the time for us to remember all the contribution, to really feel gratitude for all that we've done and use that and ignite our passion in the Lord and now shine our light for others. Hmm. And of course, the next song, O Holy Night, will be sung in English and French to pay homage to Saint Laurent Imbert, one of the first French missionaries ever recorded to come to Singapore and who inspired the name of our cathedral, where we are, we're here. the first church in Singapore. And singing for us are Father Camille Camus, our Father Valerian Chong, Father Derek Yep, Father Liu Chong, and Brother Jean Gabriel Profila, joining us all the way from Rome. Let's allow this song to turn our hearts towards the one who made this one holy night truly divine. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Lonely the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul found its worth. A thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees O oh, he Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Wow! I know! But you know, that really is no mean feat, okay? Mm. Singing that song in both English and French. I was wondering. I know, okay. <laughs> so here's a little tidbit for all of you. Basically, Father uh. Val, Father Camille, and Friar Derek mm. learned the song, the pronunciation in French on the spot. Now, they also oh. had to memorize it, okay? So, and they were coached by Father Luke. So, very cool. Shout out to all our very cool and talented priests. Fast learners as well. <laughs> Okay, the next song you're about to hear is uh, Rise Up Shepherd and Follow Up. Now, it originated in the plantations in America. Now, this song is written like a call and response and by the end of it, you will be able to hear the full story of Christmas. Hmm, that's one way to kind of orally pass down the, the stories for centuries, right? Exactly, it's a great way to learn, right? Yeah. And now it's your turn to listen to this story and singing for you is the Christus Laudatu Voce Choir from the Church of the Risen Christ. And that's a very joyful version of Rise Up, Shepherd and Follow from the choir from the Church of the Risen Christ. Of course, as we reflect and think about the spirit of Christmas, let's also once again think about what Christmas really means. Um, also going forward, thinking about what Ignite and Shine means. Um, as we reach out to uh, Singaporeans, our low-income Singaporeans who are not as fortunate as us, let's also remember another group of workers here in Singapore. Mm. And of course, they are our migrant workers. And just remember that they're going to be spending Christmas this year uh, without their families. So everybody, please pray for them. But I think also even more than that, um, there's so many organizations in Singapore that help these migrant workers. If you want to be able to reach out to them, you can go through these amazing organizations as well. Absolutely. But moving along, the next song, Do You Hear What I Hear, originally was written as a plea for peace around the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis. It was Bing Crosby, uh, the famous crooner, who made the song a worldwide smash in 1963. Now let's pray for peace too in these very unusual times and let us spread the good news this season. Now it's time to welcome the choir from the Church of St. Mary of the Angels as they sing for us, Do You Hear What I Hear? Silence. 
It's a season of joy and thanksgiving for Christ has come uh, on the earth. God spent time with his family and I think spending time with family helps me to see Jesus and God in them. Hope for the world, especially during this pandemic and also to give love to others. We believe it is the birth of our Saviour Jesus Christ that makes all our faith meaningful and all our sacrifice both wrong. Jesus came in such a crazy way and it only shows the depth of the love that he has for us. And that's another beautiful song for all of us here today. Yes, very, very nice. And of course, another song that originated 200 years ago is Les gens dans nos compagnies. The popular Christmas carol, Angels We Have Heard On High, is based on this. And the chorus of the song, Gloria in Excelsis Deo, reflects the chorus of the angel choir on that long ago blessed night. It's now time for us to sing glory to God in the highest from the bottom of our hearts, bringing angels we have heard on high to you and singers from the San Pedro Choir from the Church of Divine Mercy.
Burn, you know, I don't really know lyrics to songs, but mm-hmm. I definitely knew the chorus to that one. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't help sing along. It's awesome. Okay, so you've been tuning into the annual Novena Procession, Ma. So you would have heard the song Tin Sang Yo Wei Hao Ma Ma or Mother in Heaven sung by Father Terence and Father Eugene. Now, especially for our celebrations in Christmas Ignite 2020, we have added to it the English version of this very well-loved song. It's a collaboration between the original composer from the Mustard Seed Music Ministry and the music arrangers from the Cathedral Choir of St. Gregory the Great. And this is a heartfelt tribute by a very large group of singers to Mother Mary, who was chosen by God to conceive and give birth to the baby Jesus. Tian Sang, Your Wei Hao Ma Ma. Mother in Heaven is a song for Mary, Mother of God, Mother of all mankind. So let's welcome Father Terence Wee, Father Eugene Lee, Father Henry Siu, Father Peter Zhang, Sister Linda Sim, who, by the way, is also a Taekwondo champion with a black belt, don't mess with her. Wow. Sister Teresa Lim, Sister Wendy Wee, and Sister Jocelyn Quack. They are joined by seven Mustard Seed members and the Novita Combined Choir. This is a very large group with Father Eugene on bass and lead guitar.
Bern, do you know that there were so many people involved in this recording? And mm -hmm. I just wanted to tell you, okay, how much effort went behind this, okay? okay? Our crew got the four priests and four sisters to go down to a studio in Katong mm. and they recorded all their parts separately. Okay, that's a lot of work. Mm. And Father Eugene also worked together with the music arranger to learn the part of the lead guitar on the spot. Wow. during recording okay and the novena choirs also recorded their part separately mm. and you know our priests and our sisters were so sporting and i just want to say this they not only pray for us they pray with us um, they do so much work for our community uh, for the community in singapore of course and on top of that they also took time off to come and do this concert so thank you so much to our fathers and our sisters thank you so much indeed yeah. Pray for the courage and humility to journey with uh, those who are suffering and especially those who are confronted with critical illnesses. Those who have unfortunately lost their jobs due to, to the pandemic this year. For the people who are unable to celebrate Christmas with their family at their own house. That we may find Jesus in the simple blessings of our lives. To pray for our mothers and infants that they may be protected Pray uh, that we'll all do our part to stop global warming. I'd like to pray for people from broken families. For our family and friends to always stay healthy and happy and to end this pandemic. Okay, we promise you this next uh, Christmas song written in the chorus style of Philip Stockford. It's sure to kind of bring your hearts uh, great cheer. And for the next song, the words are adapted from the traditional Christmas blessing found in the Book of Common Prayer, dating back as far as 1549. Hmm. Now, the composer's intention was for the song to be like a musical blessing, okay. with the choir delivering comfort to God's people through the celebration of the birth of Jesus. And let's welcome our friends from the Vita Voxer Choir from Sacred Heart, Indonesia. In 2019, they performed in Singapore to help raise funds for the Catholic Foundation, and they're looking forward to being here with us this year. But of course, uh, they can't be with us here today. However, they've overcome the distance and the challenges to be here with us virtually to perform a Christmas blessing. Let their voices and song bless you in this difficult time to bring peace and goodwill to all people.
happy. <laughs> Thank you so much to our dear friends from Indonesia. Well, by the blessings of our Lord, the Catholic Church continues to serve the community with your help and generosity. Now, if you're feeling the Christmas spirit and the Holy Spirit also kind of moves you to consider making a contribution to sustain the needs and the mission of our church. Indeed, the Christmas spirit is simply a love for all humanity. It is the gentle force that moves us to give what we can, to use what we have to help as we are able to, and to always be of kind comfort to those who have less than us. Now, just as we remember the gifts God has given us, we can now offer them to others. We hope you will play an important role in building up our community by giving as much as you can. We'll also be having a Feast of Music concert in December 2021. We'd like to call all musicians to come forward to participate and details to follow on the C200SG website. And finally, we want to thank you for being with us in this very special Christmas Ignite 2020 virtual concert. I mean, I had a great time. Did wow, you, all man? the songs are great. I know everybody Love performed him. so well. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed this, please, please share this stream with your friends and family. We also want to thank the Catholic Foundation, all the participating choirs you did so well, and every single one of you who have helped to make this possible in this time. Now, let's bring everyone back to sing the finale. A medley of We Are The Reason and Hark The Herald Angels Sing together with Joshua Lim and Natalie Sason. As little children we would dream of Christmas morn And all the gifts and toys we knew we'd find But we never realized A baby born one blessed night Gave us the greatest gift of our lives As the years went by The giving of ourselves and what that means on a dark and cloudy day, a man hung crying in the rain because of love, because of love. We Yeah. 
all of you a very merry blessed Christmas. Merry Christmas. Blessed Christmas. Merry Christmas. Blessed Christmas and happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yay. Merry Christmas and God bless you all. And thank you so much for spending your Christmas Eve with all of us here. And we really hope that the carols have helped you get into the spirit of Christmas. It is a celebration of the birth of God and our new beginnings. A season where you and your loved ones experience joy, hope and much love. I'm Eunice Olsen. And I'm Bernard Lim. See you next year. From all of us here, have, have a, a merry, merry and, and blessed, blessed Christmas. Christmas. Twenty twenty one is the two hundredth year of Catholicism in Singapore, and so for the churches is a very momentous occasion. What we are commemorating is actually to look at the past two hundred years and to see where we have grown, and more importantly, it is also to work towards where the church is heading towards. We trace back to this letter by Laurent Imbert that was sent by his bishop from Siam to find out. The place in Singapore and to report back. So, in the letter that he sent back to his bishop, identifying that there were a few Catholics here already and there is a potential to begin the Catholic life, we count from that date of that letter. That's 200 years. Other religious came to pass on what they had received, you know, in such a way that it would grow in Singapore and it would become. A local church. So there was a missionary outreach to these people, and to me, that's where the church is. Where two or three are gathered in the Lord's name, the church is there. Many of the people here knew nothing about the Catholic faith, and yet people were ready to respond to the missionaries because they saw them as sincere people, people with deep convictions, and people who were ready to sacrifice their lives. And most of all, they do not proclaim the gospel so much in words, but in their lives. This was what actually inspired the people that what these missionaries were doing must have really been inspired by God. When I was 10 years old, there was this nun who taught us catechism, and then she made us all stretch our hands, look up at the cross, see how much Jesus loved you. And I left my country and my family uh, to tell you this, and it's worthwhile spending your life uh, telling people about how much Jesus loves them. So that one stuck in my little head when I was like 10 years old. The 200 years is the 200 years of the story of the Catholic community in Singapore. And so it is my hope that with the celebration of Catholic 200, an occasion for our Catholics to be reunited in their faith, to appreciate the faith that they have inherited at the cost, at the price of many lives and sacrifices. To commemorate this Catholic 200 SG, there's a whole series of events that are lined up from December 2020 right through to December 2021. We will also reflect as a diocese on where we have come from and where we are going to. So, to ignite the faith and shine that capture the vision and mission of the Archdiocese. And so to ignite is the first step to renew the faith of our people, to make our Catholics vibrant in their faith. And to shine simply means to be the sword of the earth, the light of the world, which is to evangelize 
and to be missionaries for Christ. So, the team which you have chosen, Ignite and Shine with Faith, it is an appropriate topic for these times. And here in Singapore, as we celebrate this Catholic 200 SG, we want to see this as a community, together as one. Not by the different orders of different missionaries, but here we celebrate everybody's contribution to how the church has grown. We are all sons and daughters of the Father. We are all the beloved of God. And that's a continual need for our conversion. So it's really the grace of God to make us see that we are all one family. Lah. We have to deepen and really ask ourselves, are we igniting this awareness of doing the will of God as a faith community? We are people in love and people for love. And so my dear brothers and sisters, I invite all of you to reflect on your faith, to thank God for the gift of faith that you have received, to return the gift that you have received by making yourself available to grow in your faith, to effectively contribute, and most of all, is to build a vibrant, evangelizing and missionary church. On behalf of His Holiness Pope Francis, I bestow on you the apostolic blessing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.